In this video, I wanted to show you how I took this photo of this couple and turned it into a holiday Polaroid card, like this one. So the first thing you want to do is duplicate the background of the photo you're going to use. So right click and choose duplicate layer and then turn that main background layer off because it's locked and we can't do anything with it. And now we're going to add our first layer, which is the Polaroid overlay. So come up to add new layer and choose add photo layer. And if you haven't already imported the photo, then you'll have to choose from folder and then just find your image and double click it. But I've already imported it, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to choose from photo browser panel. And this is something that's new in Photo Director 9. So here's the image, the Polaroid template. So double click. And then I'm going to get the next image that I'm using for this card. So I've got both images here. So move your polar your background image whatever it's called to the bottom not the very bottom but to underneath your other two images and then turn it off for now so the next thing we need to do is resize this image so that so that it fits within this polaroid frame so it defaulted to the scale transformation tool so just click and drag on the image and move it over to where you want it to be. You can rotate it if you need to, if you want to. So that looks good. And then we're just going to erase the parts that overlap. So come up here to the eraser tool and choose a tool to erase with. I'm going to choose the eraser block because I find that's most effective. Make sure your opacity is at 100, and then just start erasing. And be sure not to extend beyond the edge of the Polaroid photo. Whoops, we did right there. So just do undo. I'm going to click here. So just keep doing that. Do this side and then the other side as well. And remember not to extend beyond the Polaroid. So once you've completed erasing the overlapping parts, we can resize this if we wanted to. So we can, since these are both visible and these are turned off, we can just go ahead and right click and merge visible. And now we can resize these together as a merged image. So choose the pick and move tool and it brings this scale transformation tool back up. So click on the edge and just drag it until it's the size you want it to be and move it. And that looks good. And now we can turn our background image on. And there, that looks good. So if you're happy with that, you can just go up and choose File, Export Selected Photo. And if you want to use this Polaroid template, I've already saved it as an Express template on the Director's Zone website so you could go and download that if you wanted to. I called it Holiday Polaroid by Word Girl. So you, you would just type in the search tool in the top of the page on Director's Zone's website. Just type by Word Girl and it'll bring up all of the Express templates that I've uploaded. So once you bring that in, just go ahead and delete the photo that's associated with it and replace it with yours. So I'm going to double click it and show you. So you'll see it brought those layers in. So let me turn the layers off that we just created. And there's the image. You can see this one here. I've already erased the overlapping parts and then there's that background layer 
So if you want to replace both of these layers with your own layers, just right click and delete the layers. Say yes. Or you can just turn them off. I'm just going to delete them. And then turn this layer, the Polaroid layer on. And then of course bring your photos into it. But here's the Polaroid Express Overlay and I hope you like this video.